hello friends now we'll cover the topic that is modes of transmission in modes of transmission we'll go through what are infectious agents how they are transmitted and how they cause the diseases okay so for this we need to understand first of all what are pathogens pathogens means the harmful microorganisms which are causing various types of diseases or the agents which cause infectious diseases now the infections agents may be we have seen they can be bacteria they can be viruses they can be protozoans or they can be fungi bacteria causes diseases like cholera vibrio cholera cholery causes cholera s typhi causes typhoid m tuberculosis causes tuberculosis like so all these diseases are caused by bacteria so different bacteria causes different types of diseases viruses cause these type of diseases like common cold influenza aids hepatitis b all these are examples of the diseases which are caused due to viruses now protozoans as we have seen earlier plasmodium which causes malaria and its vector or the carrying agent is mosquito then again like uh, you can say kala azar amoebic dysentery sleeping sickness all these are examples of protozoans okay next fungi fungi causes various types of skin infections okay now skin infections may be of various type like uh, you can say rashes are observed you can say there is total dryness in your skin so there are various types of skin infections which are caused due to fungi now different species of microbes you know target your different parts of the body like you can say uh, they have different point of entry if they enter your nose they are likely to go to your lungs and they can cause different types of breathing problems like when viruses they target the uh, your uh, lungs they are commonly facing common cold and all again when uh, the bacteria enter your mouth they go to the gut or you can say uh, to the stomach and they cause they can cause various types of food poisoning okay again when the different bacteria are uh, you can say they enter your blood stream they can cause malaria and all so these type of uh, microorganisms you know depend upon different types of portal of entry okay now infectious disease spread from infected person to healthy person we know and there are different types of media as you can say modes of transmission like it can transmit through air it can transmit through water food vectors physical contact sexual contact as we have seen now we'll see in detail about how the bacteria are transmitted through air now uh, when a infected person is car- uh, is a if a person is infected from common cold what happens that that person during coughing or sneezing uh, in uh, exhales different uh, different you can say uh, different types of bacteria so you can say the particular bacteria which is causing common cold so healthy person when inhales that air is likely to cause common cold or you can say tuberculosis or pneumonia again now through water if the person is likely to drink unsafe drinking water he is get i mean the chances are increased of getting him to get cholera or amoebic dysentery so drinking unsafe water also causes the person to get the disease so water should be so water is an also you can say most important uh, mode of transmission which uh, transfers the microorganisms again comes the vectors vectors means the in, with organism or you can say the animal which carries infectious agents from sick person to potential host example the best example we have seen of mosquitoes that causes malaria that means the pla- mosquitoes not causing malaria plasmodium vivax the protozoa now plasmodium vivax that is a protozoa that is present in mosquito and that enters into the body of a person and he is likely to get the disease that is malaria or dengue okay again flies when the flies 
sit on various if you say if you can say example like if the fly is sitting on a dirty place and again that same fly flies and comes and sits on your food and if that food is consumed by you you are likely to suffer from dysentery typhoid or tuberculosis or diarrhea okay so this was all about vectors next through social contact means if you are having uh, unprotected sex or if the person is suffering from uh, hiv virus through sexual contact this aids virus are likely to get transmitted into a healthy person okay so aids is caused due to hiv virus again syphilis is caused due to trypanosoma pallidum this is also a microorganism which when enters uh, from healthy person to an from infected person to a healthy person caused due to trypanosoma pallidum this organism now aids virus is also transmitted through blood transmission means if the same syringe is used from the infected person uh, to a healthy person if the same syringe is used he is likely to get acquainted with aids virus again if a mother is infected by hiv virus then or uh, during pregnancy or through breastfeeding uh, the baby is also have the chances of getting hiv virus now what happens in hiv infection is that our immune system fails to destroy this bacteria and this bacteria survives in our body for long period of time ultimately leading to a you can say ultimately leading to death so this is the most dangerous virus you can say so this was all about modes of transmission how disease are transmitted in next session we'll cover about how these diseases can be prevented or what all treatment should be taken